So the worst possible thing that could happen happened to me today. It was all going good. At least as good as anything's ever gone for me. And then, <clears throat> out of nowhere, she starts telling me I'm no good, that I'm hiding behind my beard, and that she never wanted to be with me in the first place. <sighs> she said, a girl gets bored sometimes. I guess this is supposed to mean I was just time filler for her. It just seemed like a real selfish lashing out on her part. Now I'll be stuck in this bar for the next three months or so, trying to ease up my mind. It's a drag, man. Because I really did love her. And drinking like this every day just ain't healthy. I can't figure how easily she did it. I mean, I really couldn't and wouldn't do it that way. It was real cruel. Downright mean. She's so cold. I swear, women really do have a heart of stone. And they're the, supposed to be the sensitive ones. But I don't buy it for a minute. Once a girl makes up her mind, there's no possible way to turn back time and it's fucked. She'll go on like nothing, to go on with life. I don't know what to do now. I think you should shave your beard. I think you're missing a point, but I don't want to get into that kind of a conversation with you. What I want you to understand is that this girl really did a number on me and I'm contemplating what my next decision should be. Can I get you another beer? Yeah, sure. Nah. Uh, wait a minute, hon. Let me ask your opinion. What do you think of his beard? Lose it. It ain't easy either. <sighs> You're being too nice, Mick. You show women weakness and they walk all over you. I know. You need to be more like me. Here, just don't become friends with him. You told me this before. So, what are you gonna do tonight? I don't know. Gotta find a new place to shack up. Right now I'm stuck in that shithole motel down the road. Well, if you need a place to stay for a couple of nights. No, I'll be all right. I just need to get her out of my head so I can have my life back. It's hard to get them out of there sometimes. Ain't that the truth? It takes time. I'll drink to that.
beard is gone. But you're still here. For the time being. Female trouble? In the worst way. And <laughs> it'll get you every time. All I can do right now is drink. I hope enough time passes before I realize I miss her. That's why I must be a street fighting man and stay true to this bar stool right now and for the next three months. I'll be here. So will I. Some girl outside drawing pictures of the bar. Say what? Yeah, she's just sitting out there drawing pictures of the bar. How long has she been there? I don't know. I got up to take a piss and I looked out the window and there she was, drawing away. She's probably one of these weird, sensitive art chicks who, who wear those Chuck Taylor shoes and got paint all over their clothes and rings jammed up the nose. Somehow, these girls get into their stupid heads that shitty bars like this are cool and hip. They're customers like anyone else. No, no, it goes way beyond that. It's like a statement to them. I mean, do you think that they want to hang out in a joint like this with bums like us? No way. It's the whole retro thing. You know, like when they wear the smelly old clothes. The smelly old bar with smelly old men. Same difference. They don't bother anyone. They're weird, man. That's all I know. And they're trouble. Stay away from them. What's so weird about them? Just the way they do things. The way they talk and dress and act. What, you never seen one of these girls before? No, I don't think I have. Well, they're weird. And I'm warning you, stay away from them. And this proves that they're weird. Why would anyone spend their time sitting around drawing pictures of a bar? Especially when they could be sitting inside of the bar instead of outside. It doesn't make any sense why these girls do what they do. It's a different world out there. Maybe someone should invite her in. Wait! Stay there! What? Don't move! Go back! Back. Back. Turn your head to the right. I'm doing exactly. Drawing your face next to the bar. You have the perfect face. Can I see? No, no, no. Go back. Don't move. I'm not done yet. How long should I stand here? Not too much longer. You know, you're causing a real uproar inside. Really? Yeah. You're like consuming everyone's time in there. They're in a bar. Yeah. It seems the alcohol is consuming their time. They just want to know what you're doing out here. Then why didn't they come out here and ask me? Okay, maybe I want to know what you're doing out here. Drying your face. Why? 
It's hard to explain. Please. I want to understand. You have the perfect face. I think it's what I've been looking for. What's your name? R.C. What? R.C. Like Marcy, but without the M. Oh. Come inside, and I'll buy you a drink. What's your name? Mick. Like Mick Jagger. Who? Never mind. Can I see what you drew outside? It's very nice. It's really good. Yeah, but what does it mean? I don't know much about art. Neither do I. But I like the picture. from you. I want to follow you around and see what you do. This is it. I get drunk in this bar and then I go to my motel and sleep. Only because I have to because the bar closes. That's all you're gonna learn. You don't have a job? I need to find one. You don't have anyone in your life that you'd rather be with. She's why I'm here. What do you want to do with your life? Well, I thought I knew once. I really thought I had things figured out. I was so arrogant back then. But maybe that wasn't so bad. I can't remember the last time I had such little direction. I'm really Confused. We have a lot in common. I'll drink to that. And unfortunately, the only way I've found to deal with my feelings is to drown them with booze. I like the word booze. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. That's nice, too. I haven't laughed in a few days. Booze. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I was causing an uproar in here. Everyone seems pretty sedated to me. Well, they weren't a couple of minutes ago. You should have seen them. They were convinced you were doing something evil outside and you were gonna come in here and ruin all our lives. But I set him straight. My hero. <laughs> See, there you go again. That's not so hard, is it? Uh, feels good to laugh. Hey, you wanna get out of here? I don't like this place so much today. There's a few beers back at the motel. This guy's bringing me over some grass. I don't know. You don't smoke? No, I do. You can draw me if you want. Really? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Let's go. It isn't far. I guess you're ready.
Aren't you gonna drink your beer? So glad I met you. It's okay. I like holding you. What? Please. Let me be sentimental. Nobody else will. Don't fall in love with me. Trying not to. Don't fall in love with me, Mick. My mother used to say, kissing a man without a beard was like eating porridge without salt. What? I don't know what I'm saying. I just need a friend right now. That's it. I understand. Maybe I should go back to the bar. No, don't. What should we do? We could go out. Yeah, your choice and I'm buying. But you don't even have a job. I'll find one tomorrow. And where do you want to go? Ooh, Indian food. Indian food? You'll love it. It's super good. And I know just the place. Plus, I think I'm getting the munchies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. Let's move them out, partner.
what? Well, I suppose I should give it a shot. Uh huh. And? Not spices. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's interesting. It's okay. I think I like it. You know, Mick, it is a great big world out there with lots of different choices. And it's too bad. The people usually eat the same boring things over and over. Sounds like me. Don't be boring, Mick. Hey, <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good here. You are. Let's have a toast. Okay. What are we toasting to? To you. To me? To us. I'll drink to that. What do you want to do now? Don't know. You want to go back to the motel? Not really. How about a drink? Nah. What then? You want to see something? What? It's a surprise. What? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Do you want to know why I decided to become an artist? Yeah. When I was young, there was a girl who lived next door to me. She was a really good painter. I envied everything she did. I was jealous of her work. We weren't very close, but occasionally I would go over to her house and see her latest paintings, and they were beautiful. One night, she was taking the trash out behind her house and startled a man who was sleeping in the alley, and he jumped up and smashed a bottle on her head. No. She died instantly, and he was never caught. Her parents gave me all her art supplies, and I vowed that I would become as good or better of an artist in memory of her. I don't know what to say. And here's the spot right up here where it happened. Her parents commissioned a famous sculptor to put in a statue in her backyard in her memory. There it is. That's the craziest looking thing I've ever seen. I can't believe this happened right next door to where you grew up. I don't think this is funny. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I grew up in a small town and I have no idea why that statue is there. What about the girl? <laughs> it was all a lie. My ex-boyfriend told me the same story last year. You little shit. <laughs> Good laugh, huh? You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Here I was feeling sorry for you. You have got to admit though, that is a creepy statue. It's creepy. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Shh, run! <laughs> You're so funny, don't you? Well? Yes. Once I catch my breath, it's my turn. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And where is it we're going? Oh, no. That's a secret. <laughs> well, then leave the way, fucker. Oh, yeah! Going in here? Yep. I don't know if this is my seatmate. No choice. Come on.
We're gonna dance! I don't know how! You're safe with me! I guess this is good night. <laughs> it's been a good one. You can say if you want to. I'll sleep in the chair. You can have the bed. It's counts on it. I think I should go home. I understand. But I really don't want to. I think I'd like to stay.
Good morning. Good morning. What time is it? 6.30. What the hell? 6.30 in the morning? Yeah. Why so early? Gotta get a job. This is horrible. They're making coffee. Motel coffee. It's the best we got. You want a cup? If I must. Here. I think I may have found something. Really? What? Oh, probably nothing special, but I'm qualified. What? I'm just construction work is all. Oh. I think I'll go to the studio today and paint. And I'll get a job. It'll be a productive day for the both of us. What time will you be finished? It's hard to say. Are you going to the bar later? Probably. Please don't. What should I do? Come back here and wait for me. Okay. Promise? Yeah, I promise. Good. Well, let's go. The day's a wasting. this art studio. You just keep going, I'll tell you where to go. I'm so excited that you're gonna get a job. I had a lot of fun last night. So did I. Here, turn right here. Right here? Yeah. I like your track. Thanks, had it a long time. I like the color. What should we do tonight? Don't know. What do you want to do? Um, well, I probably shouldn't encourage you to drink, but I love to drink wine after painting. We can drink some wine. Good. Turn left here. I'll pick some up after the job hunt. Turn right in here. And then... You see that spot over there? So, should we say rendezvous later at the motel with wine and good news? I'll bring both. See you then. Count on it.
Sorry, Arcee. Don't fall in love with me. Too late. these well that one is good wine as well and that one is not so good do you have anything better well what's the occasion well, hanging out with a girl and her tastes are uh, she's an artist ah well then i know the perfect wine come with me if you want my opinion i would get a bottle of this a bottle of this, and a bottle of this. Call it good. You're the boss. I really want to impress this girl. Well, this wine will do the trick. She's very special to me. Anything else for you, sir? Where's your beer? Oh, just right over there. Okay, that makes your total 160 even. Ooh, well that better be good wine. Trust me. Ladies, I'm driving us, cause you know, talk too much, what can you do? What can you do? Yeah, I'm not got no money. 
Like what you've done with the place. <clears throat> Have a seat. Did you get any painting done today? I did. What did you paint? Um, something for class. Can I see it sometime? Sure. What do you feel like doing tonight? Maybe we should just Drink some wine and watch a little TV. Sounds good to me. I want to sleep in tomorrow. Hmm. Wish I could. 
I've got my interview real early. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Do you want me to go so you can get some sleep? No, no, absolutely not. I couldn't sleep now if I wanted to. I'm ready to do a little drinking. I am in the mood too. Hmm. You want to get drunk? Of course. Okay, so how much wine did you get? Three bottles. That should do it. And we've got a few beers. I think we'll be all right. I can always go out and get more if we have to. No, don't worry. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> You want another one already? Let's get this party started! <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good day. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came over. I didn't want to be alone tonight. Oh, me neither. Well, let's make a pact. Let's say that if either one of us is alone, that the other one will come over and will be each other's company. Agreed. Here's to us. <laughs> to us. Everyone's more barky. With pleasure. <laughs> You know, mm. I never would have thought a couple days ago that I would be here with you now. That was such a wreck a couple of days ago. You seem better now. It's like some colors coming back into your face. <laughs> you made me feel good. Am I like your muse? Uh. I don't know if I know what that means. You don't know what a muse is? No. Nick! Shame on you! I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> oh, please teach me. What is a muse? A muse is an inspiration. More or less a person who inspires when you make art. There were nine of them, and they were the goddesses of the arts and of science. But who cares about science? I don't. Neither do I. They were the daughters of Zeus. You do know who Zeus is, don't you? Zeus, I've heard of. Good. And all nine of them had their own specialty. They all lived in Mount Olympus, and they remained young and beautiful for upcoming ice cream. or to sculpt, or to write. They would write. And they would help you. They would inspire you. They would tell you what to write. They would be the inspiration to your creation! Muses are unfortunately dead nowadays. But I like to think, I like to think that we can be muses for each other! You have been my muse. It's your muses. Here's something I bet you didn't know, Space Cowboy. What? Did you know that the word museum originally meant temple of the muses? No, I did not know that. And the word music comes from art of the muses? Did you learn all of this in school? I don't know if they'd bother to teach that in school. Life is so boring. People don't believe in fun stuff like muses anymore. I like it. 
I think I'm drunk. Are you drunk? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but I can drink quite a bit. Yeah, I've never really been able to drink all that much. Maybe you can teach me. All it takes is practice. I mean, it's something I really don't think you want to learn. Here. try and catch up with you. Mm -hmm. For every glass of wine you drink, I'll drink a glass of wine and a beer. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> what are we drinking to now? Oh no, I am drinked out. Maybe you need some food. Food, that's a good idea. What do you want? Yeah, one bean burrito with extra olives. Hey girl, I'm not gonna lose you, am I? No, I'm fine. I just drank too fast and it's all hitting me at once. Hey now, you're not getting bored on me, are you? Why are you so worried if I'm bored? I can go get you a burrito. There's a taco whatever right down the street. Yeah, maybe you better. I don't know if I'll make it otherwise. I'll be back before you can say alligator skin boots. Alligator skin boots. Ah, cut me a break. <laughs> passing out on me while I'm gone. No way. What? There's no way. Okay. You got bean burritos? Yeah. I need one of them. With extra olives. Extra olives is a dollar more. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Anything else? Yeah, a couple of tacos. Four dollars. Arcee. Arcee. Hey, Arcee.
What happened? You had a little too much fun with the wine. Did you give me a burrito last night? Or am I just making that up? No, I got you one. Did I eat it? No. You were completely out when I got back. I am so sorry. I told you I'm a lightweight. No problem. It's over there if you still want it. What? A burrito. That sounds horrible. It's got extra olives. Oh no. Do you want some water? Yeah. My mouth tastes like ass. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like shit. Do you just mind if I stay here? I don't think I can move. Hmm. Absolutely. I should probably only be gone a couple hours. I just need to go back to sleep. My head is killing me. There's a little joint in the ashtray if you want to take a hit. No. Well, it helps, sometimes. I just need to go back to sleep. All right. I'll see you a little later. Hopefully you'll feel better. You need to go back to bed. Well, everything looks real good to me. I really don't see why you couldn't start tomorrow. Great. I'm gonna head off to the site in a few minutes. I was thinking maybe you could ride along and meet some of the guys. Sounds good. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> Glad to be here. Oh, one last thing. I'm gonna need you to run down to the medical center and get a drug test. When? Today. Today? Yeah, it's not a problem, is it? No, it's not a problem at all. Good. It's your last hurdle. Pass the test and you're hired. Come on, set out to the site. Good news. Hi, honey. How do you feel? Oh, much better. The sleep did me justice. I was worried about you. No need. What's the good news? I got a job. <laughs> 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 You're the best. Well, so are you. So are you. <laughs> when do you start? Tomorrow. Oh, that is so great. I knew you could do it. Mm, there's only one problem. What? I have to take a drug test. When? Today. What are you going to do? I've dealt with this before. Can I borrow your phone? Oh. <laughs> Bob! Hey, buddy. I got a favor to ask you. Yeah, can you come over right away? What's going on? It's tricky, but it works. What works? You'll see. <laughs> I thought we talked about this. What? What are those for? <laughs> No. Oh, no. Don't get the wrong idea. These are for the piss test. I don't get it. My piss isn't clean. I'd fail that test in a second. I know. My buddy Bob's piss is clean, so I'm going to have him go into one of the condoms. I still don't get it.
I'm going to have Bob go into this condom, and I'm going to tie the end of it and keep all the clean piss inside. This is so weird. Oh, it gets worse. The people at the drug testing place, they test the urine to make sure it's at body temperature. You can't take them cold piss or they'll know it's not yours. It's still not adding up, Mick. Bob's gonna fill this with clean piss. I'm gonna tie the end of it and take it with me. When I get to the place, I'm gonna pull out this heater and plug it in and put the condom on top so that it can get warm. Then I'm gonna tape it to the inside of my thigh. Then once I'm inside, I'll puncture the end with a tiny needle and squeeze the clean piss into a cup. That's crazy. It <laughs> works every time. I cannot believe you're really going to do this. What choice do I have? What time do you take the test? I have to be there in 45 minutes. Is it a good job? Oh yeah, it pays really well. I'll be on easy street. Let's go out tonight. Celebrate. Yeah. We'll do it right. Go to the best restaurant, drink the best champagne. I'm so excited. I feel like my life is coming together and I'm going back to a good place. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy too. And I think I owe a lot of it to you. I love you, Mick. I love you, Arcee. Will you wait for me here while I'm gone? Of course. Tonight is going to be the best night ever. Can't hardly wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's Bob? It's not leaving me much time. What a relief. Whoa, <laughs> so what uh, is going on? You remember that time, a long time ago, years ago, when I had to take that piss test? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I gotta borrow some more of your piss. Mm. Oh, Bob, this is RC. RC, this is Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. You too. Ready to do a little pissing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I don't mean to be pushy, but I gotta get over there pretty quick, so do you remember what to do? I remember. I hate these damn drug tests. I never had to take one. Well, it's an invasion of my privacy. But it's a law. Ha! Ah, this is supposed to be a free country. Tell me what's free about that. Knowing what I put in my body. What a joke. I didn't make the law. Well, who did and what's our problem? Are you a little on edge? A little. I really need this job. You'll be fine. You got the magic piss test. How can you fail? What's taking so long in there? It didn't give me much warning. Well, just give me what you can. Hold on a minute. I think I've almost got it. I don't got a minute, Bob! There, I tied it up for you and everything. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I owe you one. Mm. <laughs> Gotta run.
can I help you? I'm here to take a drug test for my new job. Your name, please? Mick. Like Mick Jagger. May I see your ID? Mm. Mm -hmm. Have a seat over there. Someone will be with you in a minute. Ready for you, sir. seen you for a couple days. This time you're gonna see me for more than a couple of days. Can't wait to grow back my beard. I'm gonna grow the longest beard that anyone has ever seen. Same problem? Same, but different man. But absolutely the same. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. What mistake was that? I didn't stay true to this bar stool. I fell in love again. Look where it got me. It got you right back here. Where I never should have left in the first place. 
Now I'm resolved. Three months on this bar stool, and that's final. I'll keep it reserved for you. Appreciate it, partner. Well, look who made the triumphant return. I'm still not in a good mood. Where's your little artsy-fartsy friend? Cut me some slack, man. What? The honeymoon over already? I told you to stay away from her, but you wouldn't listen to me. Maybe I should have. Damn straight you should have. You can't mix worlds like that. When you try, they do nothing but collide. What makes you think you know everything? Am I wrong? No, but I still don't like you. No one says you have to, brother. But from me, you'll get the truth. That is something a girl like that will never give you. The truth. That's right, the truth. Well, tell me then, since you know everything, what is the truth? The truth is, that if you give a girl like that power and control, she'll crush you. Well, she may not do it right away, but it's inevitable. And when it comes, she'll break your heart like you never knew was possible. So what's the answer? There is no answer, man. Because no matter what I tell you, it doesn't mean anything. Soon another girl will come along, and when she does, you'll forget everything I ever said to you. Yeah, whatever. It's true. Well, this is weird. What? You're never gonna believe this, but there's another one out there. What are you going on about down there? Oh, there's another one of those weirdo art chicks outside. Except she's taking pictures of the bar with a camera. Well, I'll be damned. This is incredible. What the fuck is going on around here? Is there some sort of magnet in this bar that attracts these girls? Maybe we should invite her inside. Oh no. We've been through that before. Hey man. Here's your chance to redeem yourself. on the house. You feel better? No. Nope. But it's the start. You're better off without him.
I'll drink to that. <laughs> 